He really liked you, Lieutenant. That's what killed him. Speaking about that found family thing I hear too often now in this fandom, there seems to be an implication that romantic relationships cheapen a bond, or a story, or a character, and I honestly really resent that, especially with DBH. Found family is one of my favorite tropes, but can your partner not be your family? Is your partner not your friend, your confidant, and the person that helps you heal and uplifts you? Those things aren't locked to just platonic or familial relationships. In terms of Hank Con, I think their story is one of the best examples of healing. Hank has lost everything to androids, he hates them in the world. Until you have Connor who comes into his life and not only helps save the android race, but Hank too. He becomes his friend, his partner in crime, literally. And in my opinion, his romantic partner that loves him in all his flaws and pain. I think a man falling in love with an android, after having so much pain and hatred toward them, and having that person be the one to heal and love him is a beautiful story. And it's unfortunate it gets so little respect in some areas of this fandom. The most interesting part is also that people who are usually against Hank Con, they seem like the ones who are applying their personal feelings and issues to the characters. They're so desperate for Hank to see Connor as his son that they're willing to ignore actual, thought-out theories and interpretations, as well as harass and bully those who see them as romantic. They take it as a person offense, and that's weird. Maybe they're the ones who have daddy issues. Because it is the strongest argument they usually use against shippers, since they need Hank to be Connor's dad so badly. I personally don't need another father. I don't want Hank to be my father or see him that way. I'm an adult who sees these two other adults as romantic. I mean, I'm not saying everyone who hates Hank Con wants Hank to be his dad, but the ones who are strongly anti-Hank Con and will beat you down teeth and nail. It does seem a bit odd, and I do feel like there might be some projection there. Even in other fandoms where people insist on platonic, familial relationships between two characters that aren't, I wonder about this same thing. Definitely a pattern I'm noticing, especially since a lot of the platonic, familial people seem to be on the younger side. So, the found family trope. It has been perverted into, here's a set of characters, I've squished them into the heteronormative roles of father, mother, child. Found family can be that, in some cases, but that is not what the trope was initially founded on. The found family trope was built on non-conventional families' relationships. It is about finding a family outside of the one you were born into. A family that can be whoever you want and look however you want it to. That's the very reason it's so popular in LGBT plus spaces. It is not about pushing people into strict parental slash child roles. It is about finding family in other people, regardless of what they are to you. Romantic partners absolutely count as found family. So no, we are not pushing aside a lovely found family trope for the sake of a ship. A silly sentence to begin with, but I digress. Hank and Connor are found family, because you can find your family. Your comfort, your helper, your partner in life, in your husband, wife, or partner. The opportunity for a queer love story does not cheapen anything, especially in today's world, where it's desperately needed right now. So, when people say they are not infantilizing Connor by making Hank treat him like a son, because adults are allowed to have parents, and that Connor is smart and all, but he's still unexperienced when it comes to human emotions and needs someone to guide him, and that Connor needs a guide and anchor in his life, I always ask myself why. Why it has to be Connor of all androids. Why do people think Connor needs an anchor, a guide, and why do they think he's unexperienced? Considering he's a clever machine whose brain or whatever he has in his head works much faster than human beings. Does that mean all the androids need a guide and an anchor? Isn't that infantilization? Weren't they actually shown as independent individuals? Doesn't this destroy him as an independent person who's already decided who he wanted to be and is aware of his own actions? In addition, people forget that he is not a human, and he may not need the very concept of a father figure or parents-child relationships at all. I have often seen how people who insist Connor needs a father, need a father figure themselves. In fact, they simply project their desires onto Connor and Hank due to a lack of fatherly love or attention, and some of them have directly admitted this to me. 
Though, the choice of Hank as a father figure seems really ridiculous, considering how his relationships with Connor started. But then again, Connor is not a human, and such concepts may be alien to him. We do not talk about Marcus here, because he has been living for 10 years with a man who considered him a son from the very beginning. Therefore, Marcus is the exception rather than the rule. We leave out Alice because she was essentially programmed to be a child and needs to be taken care of. This is basically her function. And there were no other examples of family relationships among androids. There were only couples. The most interesting part is also that people who are usually against Hank Con seem like the ones who are applying their personal feelings and issues to the characters. Can your partner not be your family? Is your partner not your friend, your confidant, and the person that helps you heal and uplifts you? Those things aren't locked to just platonic or familial relationships. Again. Although I'm still sure that good old stereotypes are to blame. Because if Hank was younger, or at least looked younger, no one would think of him as a father figure. If people are only doing this because of his age and looks, and I suspect that's the case, in most cases, it's largely the fault of the fandom itself that forces Hank into this stereotypical role. Because a lot of people who played the game, but have never been part of the fandom, have no problem seeing Hank and Connor as a potential couple or just who they are according the plot. Friends, it just shows how incapable they are of analyzing characters. Because according to this perspective, any human being, if they are not a child or a teenager, will be more experienced in life than any android. Shouldn't androids view all humans who are over 20 as their potential parents or parental figures then? But for some reason, if a human being looks young, no one assigns them such a role. Although, from such a point of view, this is exactly how it should be. So either people accept that Connor is an adult, capable of making adult decisions while remembering that he is not human, or they accept that any android is infantile by the very fact of their existence and needs a parental figure, even if humans who the androids interact with look young. Let's sum it up. Hank and Connor are canonically not father and son. It was never implied. So the ship is not wrong, not illegal. They're two fictional characters, so we can ship them as much as we want, and it is okay to do so. It is normal to ship two adult consenting characters, even if there is an age gap. If they are consenting adults, it is okay. And yes, Connor can consent, he is not a child. No matter how much you want him to be, he is an adult man because he was built to be an adult. If it is not your cup of tea, it is okay, as well as shipping them. If you have problems with this harmless ship that doesn't hurt anyone, if two fictional characters loving each other bother you so much, work on your complexes and issues. Grow up and be happy. In the game, Hank and Connor have exclusively friendly relations, and every fandom in the world has a ship of two friends, 